Hi everyone, today let's get straight into the data. Do me a quick favor and like and subscribe and watch the video till the end to help out the channel and let's get started. So looking at fear and greed, markets did not move a whole lot. Yesterday they closed at 70, we finished at 71. You can see still extreme greed across all of the major indicators. Put call ratio still in greed. VIX bounced a little bit, but still very low in neutral. Safe haven demand still in greed from yesterday. So we saw that jump yesterday from fear into greed and still extreme greed on junk bond demand. Moving over to seasonality, getting into a bullish period of time here. We just finished up the trading month. And you can see the first of the month is expected to be slightly bullish and then a couple of bullish weeks before we see some bearishness into mid-month. Moving over to the economic calendar, you can see continuing jobless claims came in just a little bit higher than expectations. Previous number was revised down, so that's good. Initial jobless claims also a little bit better than expectations. Chicago PMI, pretty low there. Definitely not as good as you wanted to see. And those are all still below the 50 line, so not great. And then you can see inflation expectations coming down a little bit. Michigan consumer sentiment also much better than expectations. So inflation and consumer sentiment doing well, but PMI a little bit concerning. And then pending home sales jumping a little bit as well. Fed balance sheet selling off fairly substantially, just short of $30 billion. And then looking at tomorrow, tracking that the markets are closed, but understand PCE data is coming out tomorrow. I don't think this is really going to have a huge impact on markets based on what the FOMC has been saying. They just do not seem very impacted by inflation right now. They're just being patient, waiting for cuts, and all of the hot inflation data, they pretty much brushed all of that off. So right now, it is important to watch it, but I don't think it's going to move markets very much going into the Monday session. And then moving over to Max Payne, you can see for the week, we did finish pretty much right where I thought, above that 520 level, but below 530. And we did finish just below the top of the put. So still a pretty bullish finish, not all the way at the top, but still above all of the major put walls. Moving over to the SPY, you can see we did chop sideways after hours yesterday and pre-market today. Did throw a big wick up to the level of 524.23. That was the high going back to Thursday of last week. Touched that level and then sold off. You can see a massive amount of selling at that position. So big buy at the end of yesterday, big sell at the end of today. We'll see if that has some follow through going into PCE and then into the Monday session. But right now, everything still looks very bullish. We're above all the EMAs and SMAs on the daily chart, and we are above almost all of them except for the nine here on the hourly. So again, looks bullish. We are seeing that volume kind of ramp on the daily chart, and we're not seeing a big breakout, which is a little bit concerning, but structure is still okay. And then moving over to the tasty charts here on the four hour, we'll just stick to that one for today. We'll get into the longer charts on the weekend video, but for today, you can see we we hit that second ATR band, which was the same high. You can see that same price action here. So hitting that level, finding a little bit of rejection, still above all the EMAs and SMAs. And we did actually get the ATR stop to jump up a little bit here today, which is now up to that 518.75 area. Decent volume on the day as well. You can see that selling candle was the strong volume candle of the day. So Again, a little bit concerning, but structurally still strong. Moving over to the NASDAQ, much different thesis here. You can see mostly sideways chop, a little bit of selling. It's right at the level 443.91. Touched that level a couple of times here today. It's still holding the level after hours. Selling on the day, point down 0.18. Momentum bearish, RSI right at the SMA. We didn't see a major move on the volume, so I wouldn't put a whole lot of faith into the move here today. It might just be a sideways candle. Still holding support, and it looks okay. Moving over to the Russell and the Dow, you can see the Russell going very, very strong. This is the hourly chart, so very strong move yesterday. Again, continuation here today. Didn't hit the price target to 12.10. Did pull back a little bit, so maybe it came up just a little bit short. I don't see any major trend lines here, but still looks strong. Did pull back a little bit. Didn't even test the 21 EMA. So that looks good on the hourly chart. And then looking here on the daily, you can see that is a bit of a wick rejection. That's a little bit concerning, but this is a clean breakout. Closed right on the high here from Friday, March 8th. Want to see that continue and get above that 212. That is a super important level. Then that would confirm this kind of rally up to that next trend line. So want to see it continue. Still looks okay. Might just be an initial test of that zone. And then the Dow still grinding right along that trend line. Still an important trend. Momentum and RSI both bullish on both charts. Moving over to the MAG7, we did get more selling here today. So that's three sells in a row, down a little bit over half a percent. Momentum bearish, RSI bearish. We're right at the trend support and the 21 EMA. 
needs to hold that level if it's going to do it. We've tested this zone twice. If this area breaks, that's going to be pretty substantial. There might be some buying down around that 343 area, but if this zone breaks down, I will be looking for that 55 EMA all the way down at 328.65. Moving over to Tesla and Apple here, you can see Apple inside candle still holding the level 170.90. Definitely showing some rejection off of that 21 EMA still inside of this kind of pennant setup. If this breaks down, it's going to be catastrophic hasn't done it yet. Tesla hit the trend line, selling off from the trend line. Momentum hasn't rolled yet, but RSI rolling over. I would expect this to move lower. Trend support down around 170. Moving over to staples and discretionary. Staples going higher, 0.13. Still grinding right along that trend line. Momentum rolling to bullish. RSI looks bullish. Discretionary couldn't get the continuation down 0.31. Probably Tesla pulling it down a little bit. Momentum still bullish. RSI selling off. It's not at the SMA yet, so it's technically bullish, but it's still finding struggles in that 185.36 level. I would probably stay out of this until it at least breaks and holds. Then you have the trend up there around 187.90 or 188. Moving over to breath, we did get a very slight move to the upside. So breath still positive on the day, still below the level 86.50. We're back into this consolidation range here on the 20 day. 50 day right at the level, 83.83, so we finally hit it. We had the breakdown here all the way back in mid-January, pulled back, hit that 52.81 level, and then we're back into that 83.83 zone. Critical point here for the 50-day average, doesn't have a whole lot more room to the upside. Almost everything is bullish right now, so that is positive. You can see last time we hit it, we had a slight pullback, and then we got a continuation for a couple of weeks, and then eventually we broke down. So doesn't mean that it's going to break right here. Probably could see a little bit of hovering in this zone and still waiting to see how that looks. Moving over to yields just for a second. You can see we did get a slight pop on yields. We sold for two days in a row, got a slight pop right here in this same consolidation. Ten-year selling off, didn't even engulf the previous candle, did touch the two but bearish momentum, bearish RSI. Nothing really changing here on yields. Again, I might pull these out of the rotation. I think they're probably going to consolidate for a while. Moving over to the dollar, it finally did it. We broke out here. We thought it was going to. Had a slight day of pullback, and then we gapped higher and rallied. 0.23 to the upside. It's above the level, so next price target, 105.50. Might find some resistance at these previous wick highs around 104.97, but I would expect it to push higher to that 105.50 level. Momentum and RSI bullish. You can see a little bit of weakness on the hourly chart, but your support would be that 104.40 level. Moving over to bonds, you can see they both had an inside candle, so still at resistance here for JNK. Have not broken out of that zone yet. TLT, same thesis, inside candle. Did throw a wick up to 95, found a little bit of rejection. Momentum on RSI still bullish here, so still looking for this to push back up to that 96.50 level. And then lastly here, we got the VIX right at support. Sold off yesterday, still holding 12.75. Doesn't mean anything can absolutely chop here for many days in a row, and that's likely what we'll see, at least in the short term. Moving over to my accounts, you can see I made a few hundred dollars on the day. Everything was doing fine. I sold some options to cover these queues, and I rolled up my position here in the IWM up to 209, still holding it for the Monday session. So we'll see how that plays out, and it did sell off a little bit. I'm still in the money, so that's fine. I was really playing up to that 212 level. You can see $2.27, so really getting up to that 211.20 level. And you can see it did sell off so did a good job staying in the money not getting too aggressive but still giving myself some potential for profit going into that monday session and then i can roll out to wednesday if i need to and then looking at the queues here still holding these same positions 200 shares selling calls against it again for a dollar 46 still in that 444 range and then poor man's covered call same thesis here dollar 44 still holding that same position so Everything still looks good. I think this is a new high for the year at 56, almost $5,700 on the year. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought of the charts today or what they're going to look like after we get that PCE data. Are we going to see a dip into the Monday session or will we rock it higher? Definitely like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Of course, none of this is financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes. Good luck in your trading and have a great day.